The United States has imposed sanctions on former Haitian President Michel Martelly, accusing him of facilitating drug trafficking and contributing to the ongoing violence and instability in Haiti. The U.S. Treasury Department announced the sanctions on August 20, 2024, citing Martelly's alleged involvement in the global illicit drug trade and his support for Haiti based gangs. According to the Treasury Department, Martelly, who served as Haiti's president from 2011 to 2016, abused his influence to facilitate the trafficking of dangerous drugs, including cocaine, destined for the United States. The statement also alleges that Martelly laundered proceeds from the drug trade and sponsored multiple gangs responsible for widespread violence and insecurity in the Caribbean nation. Today's action against Martelly emphasizes the significant and destabilizing role he and other corrupt political elites have played in perpetuating the ongoing crisis in Haiti, said Bradley T. Smith, the acting undersecretary for terrorism and financial intelligence. Smith's statement underscored the U.S. commitment to holding accountable those whose activities contribute to gang violence and the destabilization of Haiti's political environment. The sanctions prohibit U.S. financial institutions from making loans or providing credit to Martelly, who is currently residing in Miami. The sanctions also bar certain foreign exchange transactions involving Martelly, effectively cutting him off from U.S. financial systems. This move by the U.S. government follows previous sanctions imposed by Canada in 2022, which also accused Martelly of profiting from armed gangs. The allegations against Martelly are part of a broader effort by the U.S. and its allies to address the root causes of Haiti's persistent instability, including corruption, drug trafficking, and gang violence. Martelly, a popular musician known as Sweet Mickey, has been a prominent figure in Haitian politics, even after leaving office. His government was accused of rampant corruption, including the misappropriation of aid funds, though he has never faced charges in Haiti. The former president's influence has continued to loom large over Haitian politics, especially through his hand-picked successor, the late President Jovenel Moise, who was assassinated in 2021. Haiti has been grappling with escalating gang violence since Moise's assassination, which left a political vacuum and plunged the nation into further chaos. Armed gangs now control large portions of the capital, Port-au-Prince, turning parts of the city into war zones where civilians face constant threats of murder, rape, and kidnapping. In response to the deteriorating situation, the United Nations authorized a multinational security support mission, with approximately 400 Kenyan police officers deployed to Haiti to assist local authorities. However, the mission has struggled to curb the violence, with gang-related killings and injuries continuing to rise. The U.S. sanctions against Martelli are seen as a significant step in addressing the entrenched corruption and impunity that have plagued Haiti for decades. Activists and human rights organizations in Haiti have welcomed the move, hoping it will serve as a warning to other powerful figures in the country. Pierre Esperance, director of Haiti's National Human Rights Defense Network, expressed hope that the sanctions would help bring justice to those responsible for the country's suffering. Haiti has been under Martelly's influence for too long, he said, and it's time for accountability. Despite the sanctions, it remains unclear how they will impact Martelly, who has maintained a residence in Miami. His lawyer, Richard Danso, expressed surprise at the news and indicated that Martelly is consulting with legal experts to navigate the situation. The U.S. Treasury's action against Martelli marks a decisive moment in the international community's efforts to stabilize Haiti and combat the deep-seated corruption and violence that have long hindered the country's progress. Whether these sanctions will lead to meaningful change in Haiti's political landscape, however, remains to be seen.